Hi everyone, I chose the book The Piggy and the Puddle. It's written by Charlotte Pomerantz and uh, pictures are by James Marshall. Uh, it's the Macmillan Publishing Company in 1974 is who published it. Um, I said this is anywhere between preschool to second grade, maybe it would be the highest it would go. It's a pretty simple book. It has 26 pages and I said it's fiction, so probably children's literature fiction. Uh, so this book is about this pig named Piggy just pretty simple name uh and throughout most of the book uh there's the her mom her dad and her brother all tell her to get out of the puddle and that she needs to use some soap and wash up because she's very messy because the puddle's really messy and she tells them all no i will not get out of the puddle because she likes the money puddle and so they're all don't know what to do and so they get together and then her mom jumps into the puddle with her because she doesn't know what to do. And she, her mom is followed by her dad and her brother and they all get in there together and they enjoy the big muddy puddle, all of them together. And then Piggy says, okay, well we should probably wash up because we got really messy in the puddle and her whole family says no and then they just enjoy and have a really great time in the puddle as a family and so I think that a big thing with this book is that it says a lot about family uh, at first they were all doing their own things having fun by themselves but then they came together and enjoyed each other as a family when they got into the puddle and then they didn't want to leave because they're having so much time together as a family and I think that's a really cool point to make is family is a great thing and so you can hang out with your family and have fun with your family instead of being separate with them or from them and then another thing about this book is it has a lot of rhyming in it and it's so um rhyming and words that are like each other so there's like the fuddy duddy and all that stuff in this book and so that's a big thing for that age group to learn is rhyming and so that's why this book could be very important in that age group and so i said that an activity that you could do with this age group is have them draw draw a picture of a puddle and make their own puddle you can make it whatever color you want whatever you want to put in your puddle and then once you make it and draw it color it then you find two words two or three four words whatever you want that rhyme and so probably two words that rhyme with each other and then you have them put them in a sentence and they can describe it however they want with two words that rhyme and then write a sentence about it that goes with their picture so that is the piggy and the puddle